Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about failure in business. So 70% of businesses fail. It's a fact. Let's talk all about that. So if you're in business, if you're in window cleaning, any type of service business, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How's it going? Hey, nice to meet you if it's first time here. Uh, if it's not your first time here, you're OG, what's up? Thank you again for watching, listening, and everything else. Um, the show has been going on for almost seven years now, and it's because of you guys who watch and listen and comment and buy from me and all that stuff. So anyway, today I wanted to talk about something that this time of year we talk about actually more. I'm recording this in the winter And in the winter in a seasonal business, a lot of people kind of think about this. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of people are looking to have something change now when it's not the time that anything can change. They kind of missed it. And with that all being said, if you're in business and window cleaning in general, not you, you're listening to a podcast or watching a podcast on window cleaning you are succeeding. You're nerding out. You're learning everything. This is your career. You're you're on top of everything. But there are a lot of companies that will go out of business in the winter. And the reason is things go really good in the summer, especially if you're young and you're, you know, have off of school and you're starting this bill. Oh, so great. Then you go back to school and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, I got winter break and I can't get anything going on. Right. And 70% of businesses fail in the first few years. 70% of businesses, and that's every industry, every industry. In services, in window cleaning, in all of that, it's really hard to kind of find how many businesses fail. Um, And I would think of a failed business as somebody who just gets out of the business. It could be for lots of reasons. I mean, you could just be tired of it. You could be burned out. You could be all that stuff. But if you don't have the asset to sell, the business has failed, in my opinion. And not to say, we talked about this before, that a business and a job is different. You made great money as long as the business was open. But if you're trying to build a business, you can't fail. And there are certain things that have to happen in every business across every platform that if you don't do, you will fail. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. I know you're not there, but this time of year, it's always kind of nice to go back over all of this um, stuff just to kind of remind ourselves it has to be done in spring. It has to be done in fall. It has to be planned for the slow times so that the strength of the business happens. But if you're slow right now, which most of us are, But if you're slow, but you're worried about things, like the stresses are absolutely crazy, we could fix that. Super easy. Most people that do fail in business, especially when, say, the COVID thing happened, the big thing was is that people just didn't have the resources, the planning, the structure, and the strength to last through a period of crap. And it's the same thing through winter. So... If we're trying to survive, there's a few things you really need to do um, to kind of get through that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, First off, I want to say what's up to Robert Anderson, uh, Hamilton Peterson. What's up, man? Uh, Gage Atkins, of course. Uh, Just a couple of the awesome uh, guys that listen to the podcast and buy from me. And I just wanted to give you shouts out. So what's up to you? If you're watching or listening, uh, I really genuinely appreciate it. But let's just dive right in. Let's just dive right in. The first thing that you have to have in order to have a business that succeeds, that's strong, that doesn't drive you nuts is that business mindset. There's so many people, jump on pro window cleaning sometime. I mean, if you ever want to find out where all the trolls live, that could be very well it. But there are so many people out there who are so absolutely wrong in what they're doing. They're making themselves have to work a thousand times harder. There's so many people who will argue you because they know more than you. It's absolutely this and it's completely wrong. And you know what? I don't even argue. I don't even argue. A lot of people don't even argue because if you're arguing with somebody who is 
a uh, non-intelligent person, there's only one of you who knows they're a non-intelligent person. And it's not them. So arguing is pointless. But you can see it out there and how many people have that mindset. And there's so many people who do not understand they have a business. Sure, they want to tell their friends. They want to put it all out there. And, you know, they want to have that bragging. Like, I own a business. <laughs> but they don't have the business mindset. They don't understand businesses are run a certain way. You can look at the biggest business. You can look at a successful business. You can look at all that. But it's the strength of the business being a business that works. A job is not secure. A job is not secure because if you mess up once or you mess up enough times where it just isn't valuable, you're no longer working at that business and it's done. The job that you have is almost the same thing. If you're just looking for the now and you're like, oh man, I, I got to lower my prices. My prices in my area are just so low. I have to, ma you're racing to the bottom. You're not running a business. You're just trying to have a job. Like if you're not looking at this thing that you've created as a business, you're going to fail or you're going to be stagnant. You're going to cap. Remember, I consider a business a failure if you get out of the business without the asset to sell. If you have a business that's a value, no one in Coca-Cola is going to be like, oh, we're going to shut the doors. Oh, did you, did you shut up Pepsi? No, no, we just shut the doors. There's a huge asset in a business. Huge. You have to have that. If you don't have that, you just had a job. The mindset is the thing that is the dick, the, 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 the change, the, the thing that makes it work is the mindset. I see so many people who just go out there and they're like, man, I got to be the cheapest. Hey, what, what can I do now? Hey, it's January. Uh, how can I do E to DM right now? Is it a good, like, can I, you're, you're planning the now you, you didn't plan the business. You plan the now and now you're unfortunately having some issues change the mindset and run it as a business. A business has to make profits. They have to make enough profits to do advertising. They have to do enough to do your SEO and get that website built and rebuild things and get print and all that stuff. When you don't do that, and all you worry about is I got a job, I closed, I got a thousand dollars worth of new work today because I door knocked and pushed people into it and all I have to do is just drop my price enough to make people say yes and they're pressured into it. Uh, dude, I'm doing great, man. My my repeat rate is, you know, 40% uh, on my door knocks. That's not a business. You're just, you have a job. You get done with that one, and then you go find new ones. That That's a job. You're, you're doing piecework. The mindset of a business is the structure. All the things you need, all of the pieces that you have to have, the money for marketing, the everything, it has to be a certain profit level. Do not drop the prices to match that. Increase your value. Businesses have to have profit. Profits have to be redistributed and reinvested into the company. And you have to have that. Get in the business mindset. When you change from I have this thing to I run a business, it changes everything. Everything. That's the big one. But with that being said, you have you either feed the beast or you starve the beast. Like understand that new work is important but old work is more important when you have the mindset that oh man it's so busy right now i'm just not i'm not i'm not advertising right now it's spring and then summer comes in and you're like oh that's not no oh, it's busy again it's fall i'm not going to advertise shut the advertising off i just can't possibly do anymore what happens then in winter when it all dries up well, now you're coming back and you're going, hey, what, what can I do? It's January. What can I do to get customers? I'll do window cleaning for $40. You didn't feed the beast. You, you, you gorged them at one point. You, you fed them. But the growth never happened because now you're starving them. What happens if you have a baby? You feed them for two months. Awesome. You don't feed them for two months. Then you feed them for two months again. 
and then you don't feed them for two months. What happens? A, they don't make it through the first batch. They have to have food every day, every couple days. They have to. Businesses like that. You have to have that or you have to plan for that. If you're in a place that's like the tundra right now, then that's great. That's fine. Like you can't clean if it's negative 25. But you needed to do that back then so that you have that capital now. But a big piece is you have to feed it or starve. Do not shut down advertising ever. I mean, let me rephrase that. Don't ever shut down advertising when it's busy. If it's the middle of January, don't advertise. I mean, do free stuff, but there's not really ways. But when the iron is hot, you have to strike. Do not ever, ever hurt yourself by stopping your advertising when it matters. You have to plan this long term. You have to have enough food to feed the beast the entire year. If you own cattle, you know snow is coming, so you have to what? Grow hay? You have to harvest the hay, you have to bale the hay, you have to store the hay and dry the hay, and it cannot get moldy or, or, or any of that stuff because you know the winter's coming up. You have to feed them the entire time. Do not stop that. Don't stop advertising. If you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I can do, push it out a little bit. If you're two weeks out, then they're going to come in the three weeks. If you're four weeks out, then you're going to hire more people. If you're going to grow to that point... You have to do that. Add the crews as you need it if you're growing. If you're not growing in your sole prop, fine. But still advertise because then when somebody calls to say, hey, sorry, our first available appointment's not for four weeks. Now you fill that. You stretch it out. You have to feed the beast or you'll starve. The guys who cannot make it and the 70% of businesses that fail did not follow that rule. Because if their beast was eating, if they were feeding their beast, they wouldn't have gone under. They wouldn't have ended that. The, the concept that if you have a fire burning, you have to continually add to that fire. You can't just throw everything in and it burns really big and then when it goes out, you're like, all right, that's fine. I'll put more wood in it in a little bit. Like, give me two hours. The fire's already gone. At that point, it's so much harder to reignite it than it would be if you just threw stuff on. In a really hot fire, you can throw wet logs on and they'll burn. Understand you have to feed the beast where it starves. And if you're going to have a business and not a job, the biggest thing, which we've all kind of been talking about, but I'm a huge fan of this because I see so little of it, is the planning. People have goals, okay? A goal's a dream. Man, I'm going to be a million dollar company in five years. Nice, nice. How are you going to do that? What are you doing tomorrow for that? Well, I'm just like gonna, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna like do really good work. Neat. Yeah, okay. Um, no, good, good. That's, yeah. Psh, million dollar company, I bet. If you have a goal, that's an idea. If you have a plan, you know how you're getting there. A plan of a million dollars, if that's your plan, is totally doable. I want five trucks on the road. Sweet, totally doable. Whatever that is, your dream, your goal, it has to be turned into a plan. And a plan has directions on how to get there. It could be tracked. It could be adjusted. It could be accelerated. If you know you want to have 